Tom, this is such a great film. I was just completely immersed in it, you know, wanting to know what was going to happen. What first drew you to make a film about this story? Is it something that touched you on a personal level? Um, yeah, I mean, look, making movies is such a long road that I think you have to really immediately or on some level just passionately connect with the material right off because you know you've got a long way to go, specifically with this one because there was so much, it was so research intensive. But, um, you know, the initial story when it was brought to me um, by two of our producers, um, Nicole Rockland and Bly Faust and, and their partners Anonymous, um, uh, it was just such a compelling tale. Right? And without even knowing the full story, which we spent years kind of uncovering. Um, but just this idea of this newcomer, this outsider coming into a local paper at the Boston Globe and, um, tr and marshalling his forces uh, in a very particular way, uh, setting his sights on the Catholic Church. There was just something both intimate and epic about it that I found really uh, compelling. You attended college in Boston, is right. that right? And did that make it more relevant to you that you'd spent so much time in Boston? Sure, that. Look, I was raised Catholic. Uh, I spent a lot okay. of time in Massachusetts. I went to school at Boston College, which uh, my university was right across the street from Cardinal Law's residence. Everyone was very aware of who Cardinal Law was. He was a... He was, uh, you know, look, when you arrived in Boston, you sat with Law. He was that guy, you know. A um, lot of power, a lot of sway, smart man. Um, so uh, I, I just, you know, going back to Boston, I felt very connected to it. And I feel like on some level it was a story that uh, I was meant to tell. I was very grateful they brought it to me. What was the most shocking thing that you found out while you were filming? There were a lot of elements of it. Um, but, uh, look, some of the most powerful moments was having the chance to actually sit down with survivors of abuse and, and hear their stories and um, how sort of brave these people are to... And, and how much they struggle today with this. That you realize this abuse, uh, it's not something people ever fully recover from. They can, some, they can find a way to deal with it and cope and move forward, but it's always with them. And that, to me, is just such a crime. You think about how you know, young and vulnerable kids are, and, uh, and to have this visited upon them is just so treacherous and, and, and just uh, disgusting and upsetting. Um, so that, to me, uh, was just so powerful. And look, I think the movie works on a real intellectual level, but uh, those survivors in the film, portrayed by some wonderful actors, um, uh, they're really the heart of the movie. I noticed that your um, lead actors all met the real-life journalists yeah. that they're portraying. Was that important to you for them to get to know the people that they were playing? Uh, of course, and it was important to them. Uh, I didn't yeah. have to uh, order that or suggest it. They automatically reached out and connected and spent time with. Uh, they're great actors. They know to really get inside a character, you got to do your research so that it doesn't just, you don't just show up on set. Um, and we spend a lot of time, not just with the uh, actual reporters and people uh, involved with the film, but just talking about this material and wading through it and making sense of it, because as you know, it's a pretty dense subject matter. Mm -hmm. So um, these guys, um, I think they felt the burden of responsibility in telling the story and telling it right. Your films are all so different. This is such a heavy-hitting drama. Right. But you've done comedies as well. Right. Do you have a preference? No. <laughs> I don't. I mean, it's certainly great when you do a movie like this that has something to say, something of value, societal value, and that's exciting. But, you know, uh, I it's really just, um, I don't... Um well, it's the, I don't think about, I don't design my career, you know, I sort of just uh, wait to connect with something and get passionate about it, excited about it. So um, certainly with this film, there was a lot to get excited about. Um, but Definitely. really, that's, that's kind of the extent of it. You started as an actor, correct? Right. What inspired you to go behind the, the camera? Well, even when I was acting, I was always writing. I had directed some theater, and I realized that uh, I had, there's, look, I think people start acting because there's, you get a high from it. There's a buzz, right? You mm -hmm. just, it's so exciting when you can do it and do it well uh, and have the opportunity to work with other great actors and directors. But I realized that I didn't mind not being on stage or in front of the camera, that it, for me it was just as creatively satisfying to write and direct. And, um, you know, I took a shot with my first film, The Station Agent, and that movie uh, worked and that changed my career, really. It opened up a lot of doors, and um, since then, it's always been uh, trying to find time to do both. And finally, what's next for you? Do you have another project in mind? Um, I don't right now. I mean, I've been writing a few things, uh, which I need to uh, finish up. Uh, but really, it's just to uh, go back to work and uh, get back to writing and see what's next.
Thank you so much for talking to me, and thank you so much for this film. It is so entertaining and so enlightening. Well, thank you. Yeah, we're really proud of it, so thank you.